not easy being a father. Someone once said children go through four stages. First they call you a dada, then, you call, then they call you daddy. As they get older they'll call you dad and finally they call you reverse charges. I told you it's an old one. Today we salute fathers. The role of a father is an important one in today's society and it's a changing role. Often dad is called upon to do things that the dads of the past never were. Perhaps take on a more nurturing role, especially if mum works. Dads may take a more active role in the household jobs or in the house. I, I can see it in my two boys. They're brilliant. Me? <laughs> I'm an abject failure. Homeless around the house. I admire today's dads. You may have heard about the mum who was working away in the kitchen, she was preparing dinner and a wee boy was giving her a problem. He was running around the kitchen creating absolute chaos. When he finally knocked the dinner off the table, his mum went after him. He was in big trouble. Well, he crawled under the table and she decided to let her husband deal with it. When he arrived home, she said, go and sort out your son. Dad crawled under the table looking for the wee fellow and he saw two wee eyes peering at him and he heard them saying, Dad, is she after you as well? We salute fathers this day. The most common image that Jesus ever used in describing God was that of a father. It makes me think that perhaps Joseph was a good father to Jesus. Jesus once said, I'm not two sparrows sold for a penny and not one of them will fall to the ground without your father's will. Even the hairs of your head are numbered. Not too much of a problem with me. You're of more value than many sparrows, and that is God's love for us. A wee girl once asked her teacher how much the earth weighed, and the teacher said 6,000 million million tons. And the wee lassie thought for a minute, and then he said, is that with or without people? Viewed from one angle, it might seem that people don't matter too much, but that is not so. After all, we're all living in one tiny planet, orbiting an obscure star, in a small galaxy among millions of stars. Yet the God of creation counted the hairs of our heads. Wow! But there's a troubling side to all of this, because sparrows actually do fall from the sky. It happens all the time. Predators prey on them. Storms or droughts can deprive them of their food. The Father's love does not protect them from life's problems. And in all honesty, neither does it protect us. Those of you who are parents or have been parents, would you protect your children from all of life's problems if you could? It'd be so tempting. We would actually like to build a bubble around our children we would like to protect them from every hurt. But then I say, what would happen if we did? They would never grow. Overcoming obstacles do provide them with character. God has placed us in a world that is designed to bring out the best of us. That does not mean he has forgotten us. There's a second truth. We never fall beyond the watchful eye of our Heavenly Father because sparrows do fall. That is not because they've been good sparrows or bad sparrows. They fall because sadly, in this world, tragedies happen. But Jesus does, does say, they do not fall beyond the watchful eye of the Father. Let us pray that God will help us bear every burden, triumph over any tragedy in the knowledge that we're not alone. 
I often think reading the Bible, if ever a man suffered, it was Paul. He was whipped, he was shipwrecked, he was thrown in prison. And the list goes on and actually he didn't keep the best of health. But he believed that God was with him. Someday, somehow, accounts must be settled. There's a book, old book, called The Yearling, and in it there's a scene where friends and family gather around the grave of a little handicapped boy. His name is Fodderwing. And one of the men there prayed, and it was a simple prayer. He said, Almighty God, it's not right for us to say what is right. But if we had been making this boy, we would not have made him bent with his legs crooked. We would have made him straight and tall. But you made it, and you made it up to him. You gave him a special way with animals. And God, it comforts us to know that he too is in a place where being bent doesn't matter anymore. We would like to think you've taken that back and those legs and straightened them. And if he ain't asking too much, we pray that you will give him some little creatures to play, maybe a few birds and a squirrel. Thy will be done. Amen. I don't know what heaven will be like, but I think I do know a bit about what God is like. He is like a father who notices a sparrow falling from the sky, and he cares for us more than many sparrows. We will face obstacles and problems, but we don't face them alone. Somehow, all that is hurtful will be turned into what is helpful. And as it says in Psalm 23, and we shall live with joy in the Father's house. Amen, and once again, thank you for listening to me this morning. Heavenly Father, we've been thinking about fathers today. So we come in prayer to you, our Heavenly Father. We know that fathers want to care and look after their children. And that is what you want for us, your children. You've told us that you notice when a sparrow falls from the sky and that even the hairs of our head are numbered. You care for us and we ask that you be with us in the dark valleys, but also in the good times when we feel that we're living in green pastures. So we turn to you today and ask that you bring light to those living in darkness. Where there is pain and sorrow, can you bring hope? Where there is sickness and suffering, a healing touch. Where there is hatred and bitterness, some reconciliation. And may a new day dawn for those living in despair. We ask for your blessing on those who work for change in this world. Whether that change is for the good of the planet or the good of the poor and the disadvantaged. We pray for those who seek to redress the inequalities of life. And Father, be with us all and help us in our own simple way to be there for those in need. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen.